So this your boy DJ Killzone Jones, man. Um, first and foremost, I'm not gonna make a video about it. Um, shout out and prayers and everything goes to all. You know, everything positive goes towards the victims in Newton, Connecticut. Um, my heart goes out to all of those people. Real quick, I had to get that out the way, and. Basically, I, I had to go ahead on and speak about this. T.I. addresses Alley Boy in Duct Tape Entertainment. Now, if y'all been following the whole thing with Young L.A., well, with T.I. T.I. went to jail a few years ago twice, um, once for the actual charge and once for violating his parole. And because he had already been a convicted felon for other different charges, he went to jail over gun charges. Like it was found that he was purchasing guns in bulk, military grade weapons, and he was pretty much locked up and charged, and he was sentenced to a year and a day. So, meanwhile, Ti King of the King of the South just came off of a big movie with ATL, a uh, dope successful album Ti versus Tip after already having three no. Uh, one, two, three, four dope albums. Um, and, you know, ATL, all his artists at the time, Young Dro, Young LA, Big Country Gang, uh, Big Country Kane, and Alpha Mega were all at the top of that game. And then and the Rich Kids were starting up at the same time. So when T.I. first went to jail and he came back from jail, Young uh, Big Country Kane... And Young Dro had continued to put out mixtapes and continued to support uh, the movement, but you kind of could see that the support from T.I. and Grand Hustle and all the other people was kind of diminishing. So when it came time for per a person to be dropped, the Rich Kids was disbanded. Um, pretty much because the Rich Kids at that time uh, consisted of... Uh, Schooly, Caleb, Baby Charles, um, uh, I'm trying to think of the dude, uh, Rich Kid Shouty, which is actually, uh, Rashad, which is, uh, T.I.'s cousin, and, um, you know, at that time, like I said, man, um, he started dropping artists, so the Rich Kids, even though they had the first number one hit, um, for Grand Hustle, got this band, and Young L.A. got dropped after having a I. The remix with 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 uh with T.I. and Young Draw on it. Thirty six O's and Futuristic Love, which all three of them were number one records, um, either regionally or, you know, nationally. And I think Ain't I actually got on an international billboard chart. You may correct me if I'm mistake if I'm mistaken. But he was Young LA was let go. And in the lieu of him being let go, Young LA turned to Atlanta based label. Duct Tape Entertainment, which at the time had been, uh, Alley Boy had pretty much been putting out projects and had been getting noticed due to Atlanta based DJ The Empire. And The Empire uh, was just getting getting off of getting into it with Lil Wayne for using Lil Wayne's music. Although for the mixtapes, the, the drought is over, that whole five, six part series, he ended up getting clearance for all of the records. So. You know, he was looking for an artist. Alley Boy was it. Alley Boy ended up having a disagreement with Young L.A. because Young L.A. claimed to have a conversation with his co-CEO, um, Big, Big Bank Black, and they ended up having an altercation. T.I. acknowledged the fact that Young L.A. was not on um, Grand Hustle, and he, you know, apologized to Alley Boy because, uh, you know, it felt like, that was something incriminating for him to be starting out in the rap game. And he did a deal with Alley Boy. In the end of it, after dropping his artist, he ended up doing a deal with Alley Boy and got him, brought him to Interscope. Now, fast forward a few years, T.I. went back to jail, came back. T.I. and, um, uh, T.I. and, and Alley Boy and Trouble started, well, pretty much Trouble and T.I. started doing records. Alley Boy was doing records with Young Dro, blah, say, blah, say, blah. So, as it came down to it, now all of a sudden, after you know two mixtapes, the the F the City of mixtape that came out last year after Ti was released from prison, 
um, and you know the uh, Negro Naughty mixtape and the Gift of Deserving mixtapes, Alley Boy addressed both of these issues. You know, even using the Pimp C audio sample, uh, audio uh, interview that he did with Hot 107.5 down, uh, one Hot 107.9 down there in Atlanta. So my thing is, T.I. is off probation now. He pretty much is off the handle. He's going there. He's handling every issue that he has at this particular moment. They asked him about the Jeezy and Gucci and Rick Ross beef. Who, who, who did he sign with? Did he sign with Ross and Gucci or did he sign with Jeezy? Honest thing, best thing for him to do in that situation, because Jeezy is now the senior vice president at, of Atlantic Records, not just Atlantic Grand Hustle, but Atlantic Records of A&R, was him to stay out of there. But for Alley Boy, because Alley Boy, trouble, everybody's been dissing him, he decides, okay, I'm off probation, I'm finna make this, this record, I'm talking about busting guns, I'm talking about everything, and then he gets on DJ Drama's morning show, or I'm not morning show, one of his radio shows, during the time of this, this Sandy, I mean, not Sandy, the, um, this Connecticut shooting, talking about how that, you know, this, he subliminally dissed them, but a T.I. bullet, you know what I'm saying? A T.I. bullet basically saying that he indirectly dissed duct tape to get a rise out of whoever would come to the table. So, you know, he, I think he, he's trying to get, get them to come back at him. And it feels like he's going to start trying to expose them. He feels like that they saying that he is in street or whatever. My thing is this. T.I. Dog, you, you got your family. You know, you mustn't then turn the channel on even to even entertain. Even if the, the, the record, your record, you know, people have been saying it's leaked out. I don't know. But my thing is. I, uh, people, you know, in the comment section of these articles, I'm going to link the one from, uh, Hip Hop DX, and then I'm going to link a couple of songs for y'all so y'all can see where this, this whole thing come from. Um, you know, it, 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 it's sad, you feel me? It's sad that, you know, you, you would go and diss this man after you promised them that you're going to bring him to the table. I don't know the exact thing, but... You know what I'm saying? For a person like Alley Boy who had been who had stood silent, he didn't take your person from your team that you dropped because you felt like they weren't making you any money anymore. You felt like the red and the rich kids and went and 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 knocked down every expectation. You know what I'm saying? And you do it on the day that this massive tragedy happened. You talking about busting guns after you get off of probation. Well, the whole year you was on probation. Why you couldn't have made a diss song right then and there and then came back and did the same? Because if you had did that, I probably would have had more respect for you, T.I. But at the same time, Alley Boy, you know, it, even going in a situation with, with T.I., T.I. has to up her to his business strategy and his model in, in the confines of Atlantic Records. He has a lucrative kind of flexible relationship. But at the end of the day, it comes down to this. If you are not making as much money as T.I., if or and or you are not a, have a head at Grand Hustle or whatever, he can't make no promises. The same way with, 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 with Ludacris and uh, 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 Disturbing the Peace. Same way with Jeezy and uh, C.T., which I'm about to make another video about that. You know what I'm saying? And, and any other label. You know what I'm saying? You got to, ladies and gentlemen, the more the story is be self-made. Be, do your own thing. Don't rely on the connections of this other person or even if you met somebody because they got a look, you got a look based on being in a video or whatever, doing whatever with T.I. or Jeezy or whoever. Just be your own person. And I kind of hope that y'all got caught up on it. This your boy. Peace.